Is it time to take religion out of hospitals? That question being raised tonight after a faith-based hospital denied the legal right to assisted death. Doreen Nowicki was dying of ALS. The 66-year-old was in her final painful days of her life. Although not Catholic, she was taken to the only bed at this Catholic-run hospital. When she requested medically assisted death, which is legal in Canada, the hospital wouldn't allow the assessment on its property. So she had to be wheeled out onto the sidewalk. Oh, she was devastated. She didn't understand. She was crying, and we had to get her um, dressed from her bed. Um, using a lift to get her into her wheelchair and then outside. Appalling. It was unacceptable. Advocates for medically assisted dying argue since these hospitals are publicly funded, they should abide by legal health care. To be asked the most personal questions um, about her health care and her life uh, is just shameful. The hospital later apologizing to the family in a news release writing, we believe every patient deserves to be treated with compassion and respect. That did not happen in this case. Covenant Health is just one of many Catholic health providers across Canada that refuse to allow medically assisted dying. In Alberta, B.C. and Ontario, provincial governments exempt faith-based hospitals from having to provide those services. In Quebec, however, all Catholic hospitals have to provide, but hospices can opt out. The hospitals that do facilitate medically assisted dying must transfer patients to a facility that will do so. According to the CEO of Dying with Dignity, more and more transfers are happening across the country and they're not being documented. The issue also raising questions. Should hospitals funded with public dollars be allowed to deny services that don't align with Catholic beliefs? I don't think that uh, religion has to leave hospitals, and that's certainly not what our organization is saying. What we're saying is that faith-based facilities and all publicly funded health care facilities have a duty to provide basic and essential health care. There needs to be a change, according to this ethics professor. Look carefully at the practices and procedures that were put in place uh, that failed in this case. And, and how can that sort of failure be um, prevented in future cases? According to Health Canada, on November 1st, new federal rules take effect that require all doctors and nurses to report all transfers that happens within 30 days. However, if a transfer happens more than 90 days after the written request, no report is needed. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.